Welcome, everyone. Thanks for being here in mindfulness practice with me, Chance, at the Virtual Y. Uh, it is special time of year where the holidays have people hustling and bustling, the weather's changing. Oh, it's just a time that has so much going on. People have lots of emotions, interactions. Some are really great. Some are just joyous in the holiday season. Some are distressed or grieving or all types of things are tied to this type of time of year. And I think it's beautiful to realize that all of this is okay. It's all true. Uh, whether you have a great, uh, you know, holiday spirit or, you know, not so much. All of that is absolutely okay because people are unique. We've all experienced different things. We're all going through different things currently. We all pay our attention to what makes the most sense coming from our perspective, right? And the beauty of the practice of mindfulness is that it can be simple. As complex as people are, as complicated as our stories might be, as challenging as it might seem to be you, it doesn't necessarily make it untrue that it could also be easy, at least some of the time. So with this practice, I want mindfulness to feel easy. Um, that doesn't mean it's not going to be without challenge, without discomfort, maybe. But if there's anything that easy represents to me, it's just letting it be, letting it go. I don't have to do anything. It's this, it's, you know, challenging to let something be, especially if we feel like we got to think about it and solve it and change it and do something about it. And when we're talking about our inner world, our way of being, sometimes the only thing you can actually do about it is let it be and let it you know, digest itself, work its way out, transform. But we have a tendency to want to do, we want to, oh, this thing that I think about, it makes me so worked up. I need to keep thinking about it. I need to figure it out until it changes. But oftentimes the solution to the problem is to put space in between your attention and the problem to let it be so that you yourself can come to a point of ease. And then from that state of ease, bring that to the problem and find a solution around or through. So as we meditate, as we practice today, the challenge I offer to you is to let go of any thought that arises. Don't spend more than just, you know, just long enough to notice what you're thinking, just long enough to notice what you're feeling before you come back to, that's okay, and that's okay, and that's okay. You could be thinking of what you're going to have for dinner or all the, you know, holiday shopping you still have to do or you could think of you know the past stressors work no matter what you think about during this practice let it arise and let it be met with acceptance with a simple phrase and that's okay allowing it to leave and allowing yourself to become distant 
from whatever routine thinking, whatever stressor, whatever problem, whatever attractive thought is trying to pull us away from the here and now. We just keep returning. Every time we return, that's okay. So sit up tall, take some deep breaths. Notice the pace of your mind. Notice what you're thinking. Notice what you're going through. It doesn't have to be a long story. It could be a simple one, a quick one. And our response to that observation is that's okay. You might be kind of tired. You might be kind of sluggish. You might feel a little under the weather. You might be distracted. You might feel hurried. You might be angry. You might be scared, fearful, worried. All of that, completely normal. These are all completely valid ways of being. But what we're practicing is being okay. So as your breath comes and goes, feel the breath filling with lung, well, your lungs filling with breath, with air, with space, with light, with vitality. As you breathe out, let it pour out smoothly. Notice the details of how you're letting your breath go. Notice your eyes, your eye sockets. the breath comes and goes, notice how often you become distracted. And it doesn't have to be something that you get down about or feel frustrated about. It's not wrong if you get distracted. That's okay. But notice what you've become distracted with and that's okay too bringing yourself back to the here and now. An easy release that's always hiding here in the present moment, but in between that urge to think of the next natural thought, and the next thought in the routine process. Well, this leads to this and leads to this, and this means this, and this means this, and this means this. Our brain does it all day long. It's exhausting. And even if it's familiar, and routine, and even perhaps comfortable to a degree. It's not easy. It takes a toll to carry around these stories, to remember everything we we're trying to think of, to hold on, to keep this narrative or this storyline going. But it really takes practice to just let it go. So it might take some work to be easy. It might take some surrendering of heaviness to become light. And once we do it, that doesn't mean it's over because it means we just do it again. Hmm, I notice myself thinking, I let it go. Hmm, I notice myself thinking again. Let it go. Your thoughts can be directed toward the here and now through the tool of the breath, through the ecosystem or the lens of the body, the sensations. But we become so disconnected from our body because we're always chasing around, reinforcing and recreating our story. 
It's what our default mode network does. It's what our wandering mind does. It thinks about ourselves. And what, you know, what story we're gonna, we're living, what matters, what comes next. And that busyness in the mind becomes exhausting, heavy, limiting. So we're just being aware. We're letting go of what you're thinking. It's all we're practicing. We're not trying to block anything out. We're not judging if we're doing it good or bad. We're just observing. Breathing. And letting go. Have you become distracted? Perhaps many times already? That's okay. Did your thoughts pull you to the future? Or to the thoughts of someone else? Assumed perspectives of someone else? Has your memory brought you to the past? That's okay. The mind has a lot of practice bringing our attention somewhere outside of the here and now, outside of the present body. When you notice your mind wandering, does it feel like letting go of something or does it feel like redirecting our attention to somewhere present? Our breath, our body. I'll offer more cues, more direction of things happening in the here and now. And you take what serves you and leave what doesn't because everything about this is optional. We're just observing what comes and goes. We observe what sticks and let it go. Notice if your eyes try to follow around the thoughts. Or can you leave them fixed? Now this could be happening behind your eyelids. Your eyes could be closed. Or your eyes could be open, looking all about, chasing around the thoughts. No matter how many times you notice your eyes drift or wander or dart, that's okay. We soften the eyes, still the eyes, 
with kindness, with softness. That's okay. Let an ease come to your face, around your eyelids, your eye sockets, your eyebrows. Let a softness come to your jaw, to your neck, to your shoulder blades and collarbones. Let a softness find its way to your heart and the space all around it. Notice your spine and the breath coming and going. Where specifically does it go to and leave from? As we're scanning the body, finding easiness, softness, surrender. Notice sometimes it's very obvious where we're tense. And other times it takes a little bit more patience to notice or to surrender that tension. And in some spaces it takes years to really unpack the amount of stress we've packed away in our body. But you're doing it right now. Whether it is very obvious something is transforming or changing, or if you hardly notice at all, we're exercising the ability to be present focused on one slower, simpler target. So with a few more breaths, let yourself feel easy. This might mean a softness in the shoulders. It might mean a shallower breath. It might mean around the heart softens, the hips soften, the eyes soften. And as you slowly come back to center, you can bring the hands to heart center. The light in me appreciates the light in you. It's okay. Again and again. Namaste.